In this video, we're going to build some hanging shelves to go all the way around the perimeter up by the ceiling of this garage. If you're not familiar with this project, I installed the insulation and the OSB uh, in a previous video. So go ahead and check that out if you haven't seen it already. We're going to install some hanging shelves. On this wall behind me, it's going to be two shelves. And then over here on this wall, it's going to be just one shelf. This is my buddy's garage and he was inspired to do this because I have some hanging shelves in my garage. Instead of making them exactly the same, we have a few things that we're making different. Uh, for one, we're going to use some unistrut instead of wood as the front support. I set up my laser so the red line is at 31 and a quarter inches down from the ceiling. That is uh, the height of two plastic totes. Up there is going to be three feet deep because that's the length of his longest plastic tote. <laughs> that's how we're making the decision on where to place the shelf. I'm sorry for the poor lighting in this shot, but I needed it dark in the garage so that I could see the laser. I'm lining the cleat up with the laser and then splitting that laser right in half so that I keep that cleat straight. Then I'm nailing off the cleat to the studs behind. So I put in some wood blocking up there by the rafters and then I hung some 3 8 inch threaded rod from them. I have the first piece of Unistrut up with some threaded rod. So it's about a quarter of an inch out of plumb. And unfortunately, I'm right on the edge of the hole there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a quarter of an inch off that end. I'm cutting this Unistrut using a portable bandsaw that I bought from Harbor Freight. Uh, I have a video about comparing this to other forms of cutting metal, but I really like it. That leaves a really clean edge compared to using my reciprocating saw. I cut this piece of Unistrut to fit in between. We have these uh, splices here. There's these spring nuts that you put into the Unistrut. So let's try to do that. I haven't done this before. Uh, I'm gonna want this about there. Okay, we got the splices complete. One long stretch now. The plywood that we're going to be using for the shelf material is AC 3 quarter inch. I just ripped it so that we have a 3 foot wide piece. That's going to be for the top shelf. And now I'm going to use an eighth inch uh, round over bit to uh, round over the front edge. After nailing off the back, that helped, but I still have a, a curve upward uh, right in the middle. So what I'm going to do for this is use some carriage bolts and then bolt it in. I moved my hole over just slightly from dead center because I needed to line it up with one of the slots in the Unistrut. Now I'm going to be using uh, carriage bolts from above, dropping them down, and I'll pound this flush and then just use some normal nuts and washers from the back side. And as I tighten that up, it should sink down as it compresses the wood fibers. That's great, very little protrusion. 
Uh, it'll, this will be perfectly fine for sliding the plastic totes in and out. My laser level is set up over by the door. I have the Unistrut set up in the corner and then you can see that the laser is actually hitting the Unistrut but then it's veering off over here and shining across the top surface and then missing it. So I have this slightly low. So now I can get in here where there's nuts and turn the nuts a little bit so you can see the laser or level and what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to leave this nut alone but I'm going to tighten this nut up to it so they lock together uh, tightening up this splice in here with those spring nuts and I can tighten this and that way I have another shelf here for the next piece of Unistrut to go onto. We have a three foot shelf a two foot shelf and then over here is another two foot shelf. This is 20 feet long and this one's about 23 feet. So as you can see I'm crawling around up here. This was my first time working with Unistrut. I really liked it but there is one thing that I would change and I am going to change on this project uh, and you can keep in mind for your own project and that is span. Also an eight foot span and we have splices uh, and that does not feel as good. So I'm going to wind up adding one more threaded rod right here in the middle for additional support. It's a little bit too bouncy for my liking. Uh, but that seven foot span feels fine. And these shorter six and a half foot spans also feel just fine. So if you're planning on trying this for your own project, try to keep your spans about six feet. And I think you'll be a lot happier with them, even if you have a splice to put in. Alright, thanks a lot for watching, and if you enjoy these videos, please like, subscribe, comment, and share.